Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong 64! In this episode, we're going to be going through more crystal caves and we're going to try to find that place where we have to go to unlock something that we have to do so that we can do that other thing, so that we can do that other thing too. I know, I'm being very descriptive today, aren't I? Basically, we are about, mm, I'd say... Five-eighths through crystal caves, maybe a little bit farther. Unfortunately, though, the hardest part, some of the hardest parts are still ahead. But first things first, we want to try to find that cave that will allow us to stop these stupid stalagmites from raining down on our heads. Now, if I don't remember offhand exactly where that cave was. Uh, I want to say it's over in this direction by Cranky's house. But unfortunately, we can't get up there with Chunky, so I'm going to have to switch to Lanky real quick. So that we can do that. Because um, I was on the right track at the end of the last episode looking for um, how to do that. You have to do something with Chunky to unlock the, an igloo in the igloo area with Tiny that will allow you to get up higher in the, that, um, allow to get higher in the level to figure out what's causing the slide dice to rain down. But I can't find the other thing that you need to do with Chunky. That's where I'm stuck. So we're just going to basically wander around the level until we find out where to find where it is. This may be it right over here, actually. There's plenty of Donkey Kong bananas anyway, though I don't know what good those are going to do us. Yes, in fact, this is it right here. Unfortunately, it looks like the igloo over this boulder part here regenerated, though. So... It does not bode well for Chunky. Let me get Donkey out, we'll get these uh, bananas, and we'll do that um, his Barrel Blast course real quick. Just so we'll have something to accomplish in the early part of this episode as they're just wandering around in circles. You know, this one's a little spazzy. Gotcha. Alright. But yeah, we've already gotten a couple of the harder parts of this level out of the way. We've got the crystal... crystal uh, yeah, so we got the maze out of the way, which is a good thing. Um, we've made it through most of tiny stuff, except for a couple of things, obviously. We do have some things we need to do with Lanky, which are the, some of the hardest parts of the entire game. But, of course, I'm going to be feeling it this fairly hard. So, I'm going to do my best to try to do this in as few tries as possible, as opposed to the Fungi Forest one. But I honestly can't guarantee anything. You may notice that my commentary is rather low-key this time. It's because I have a cold. I have recorded with a cold before. You may recall that when I record with a cold, my nose does not like, does not enjoy cooperating. And it will inevitably cause me to sound like I am a much deeper voiced person than I actually am. So, um, yeah, how did you guys enjoy my 100th video special? I hope you did enjoy it somewhat, because I enjoyed making it, and I'm glad, and I hope that all of you guys felt, well, proud of yourselves for being part of something that I enjoy doing so much. I really, really, that's the thing, I don't do this, I missed, I don't do this for me, that is, that's cheap, I hit a barrel. I don't do this for me. I don't do this for my own enjoyment. I, I do this because I want other people to enjoy what I enjoy. And I enjoy playing games. So, you know, if there's a chance that by playing games, I can bring enjoyment to other people in some small way, I'll do it. Because I do... I want to... I want people to have fun by watching my videos. And... Hopefully some of you guys have fun by watching me fail over and over at the same thing. I know my brother does. Which, if you guys are wondering, um... Every once in a while you'll hear in my recordings somebody yell in the background. Especially, there, there are a couple of episodes, I want to say Diddy Kong Racing, as well as one more recent episode of Donkey Kong, where he, uh... Where somebody was yelling in the background. Um, 
That was my brother, who is actually on YouTube. If you search the username Free Biscuits, um, that's him. He he does mostly um, stuff related to music and videos like that, but he is also a bit of a troll, so don't get on his bad side. He will, um, you know, he won't take it. He won't take it well. I think this Barrel Blast course is pretty much just a maze. That's what it seems like. But I got it. I got all the goodies, and I got the. I found the banana barrel, and ooh, busy barrel barrage! Yay for easy mini games! Oh, that was cheap. So much for being easy, eh? Obviously, this is the last. This is the last version of this game. Spoilers, but obviously, it's the hardest version. This is the, the newest version that we have so far. I'm trying to remember if there's a trick to this, because Donkey Kong's hitbox for his shooter is even more awkward than Chunky's because he holds it so far out in front of himself like an assault rifle. I want to say you just have to spin and um, mash buttons, but I don't know if that's entirely true. And just like the Barrel Blast course, you're just going to see me fail at this over and over and over and over again. There we go. Now this one, obviously, since it's so much later, more Kremlin spawn and everything, but the thing about this one is the length. You have you have to defend yourself for almost an entire minute. Basically, you want to aim at the purple sparkles as they pop up, and then, and then mow them down before they can get in too close. It, look, range is your friend. That's what I mean to say. Range is your friend. The closer they get to you, obviously, not only are they going to hit you, but they're also harder to hit themselves. So... Because Donkey Kong's firing shit hitbox is... Ugh, crap. Welcome to bonus day. Let's try again. I think you only have to hit them twice with Donkey Kong's shooter. I don't know if that's the same with every Kong in every version of this game. I, I usually just spam anyway, no matter who I'm using. But... You always want to keep an eye on the bottom and the upper right corner because those are the, one, those are the ones that are hardest to see. Since, um, obviously you can't see the bottom where they're spawning anyway, and the upper right corner of the timer's in the way. So... I think it is just two shots to kill them, but like I said, I find it easier just to spam. Just mash the, mash the B button whenever you get a Kremlin in your sights and, and just um, keep... Keep tapping it until they go down. One of the few mini games where the timer is actually your friend instead of your enemy. Yay! You know, like I said, we're making, we're making some decent progress in this level. Not great, but not bad. Um, let's see. Let's go over to the igloo area with uh, Tiny real quick. I think it's with Tiny, right? No, it's not. It's we need to go. Okay, this is where I. This is like I said. I get confused in this level very easily. Um, we need to go back by Chunky or Funkies, and do something over there to unlock the igloo over here, and then use that igloo to get something else over back by the other igloo. So, it's confusing. It's like, some are, and some of them aren't even called igloos like in Strategy Guys and things, they'll call them like ice domes. Just call them igloos. That's why everyone, everyone knows what you're talking about. Okay, so. Basic idea. You saw me do this at the end of the last episode. Same thing here. Take this, carry it up here, put it down here. It causes the switch, and that breaks the dome over the uh, big boulder there. 
Now we have to get back over there to where we were and move that big boulder onto that switch. And that does that shatters another dome. But that one's going to be a much more important spot for us. Okay, get up there, Chunky. Okay, I think I can make this. I saved Blues Brothers 2000. I can make jumps like that. There's a hunky chunky girl right around back here. Grab these bananas just cuz. We're up to 90 bananas with chunky already. We're actually almost finished with um, a lot of the collecting in this level itself. Most of what we have to do left are smaller areas. 95 now. Um, smaller areas where there are just a couple of uh, items and things. There's his last five right there. So that's back where the igloo is. Um, there's there's two domes. There's two ice domes there that you can. Uh, one you have to get into via Monkey Port. You saw that in the last episode, and, and this is the other one. So um, should should just be here to the left, correct? Let's see, there's yeah, there's Greggies. Down this way. Don't worry, we're gonna be stopping that um, those stalactites soon. I can't remember which corner it's in. It's in either the left corner or the right corner. It's in the right corner. There it is, and that's the one that um, Diddy's five bananas are above as well. Mental note. So we actually just hundred percented Chunky's. Um, Chunky in this level, except for his blueprint. I can't remember if we have his blueprint or not yet. But anyway, there's a monkey port here. I'm going to want to swim back over here and grab Tiny and do this monkey port now because... Oh yeah, we do have Chunky's blueprint. It was up on top of the igloo. So yeah, we just 100 percent of Chunky in this level. Awesome. So let's get Tiny out. We'll go ahead and ponytail twirl over here. We don't have we don't have to ponytail twirl. I just like to do that. I don't... I don't... As, I, I just don't like the swimming mechanics in this game very much because um, they remind me of Gloomy Galleon. So, yeah. Go ahead and grab these coins, and oh my, that is a big, big club, dude. So what you want to do is you want to just charge out in the middle of this area and hit him with a charge attack. Basically, the story is that every time he slams his club, he causes the spikes to rain, the stalactites to rain down. But now that we've killed him, no more stalactites. And I think I bugged the music. Joy. Anyway, you can fall from here, you'll just die, and you'll start back here, I think. So, yeah, the music is definitely bugged. That's awesome. Okay, let's get back over here. Now, we've done everything, almost everything in this corner of the level that we can do. We obviously have those last five bananas we need to collect with Diddy, and um, that's pretty much it. Actually, let me go ahead and do that now. And now that we've killed that um, club of guy, or whatever his name is, Basically, since unlike all of the other enemies in this game, that guy does not respawn. So once you kill him, he's done. And no more spikes will come down raining on your head while you're trying to uh, get through the rest of this level. And no more of that really annoying music. So, yay. We've uh, managed to make this level 110% uh, safer for uh, monkey travel. I'm going to go and grab those uh, five bananas with Diddy, and then we're going to go back over to the other end of the level, buy candies, and do some of the cabin stuff there that we found in the last video. You have um, the cabin, you know, obviously, um, every Kong has something there that they want to do. So, um, can't remember. The only person we did over there was Chunky, IIRC. So, um... Right. Go ahead and use the banana port since that's so much faster. Take banana port one to banana port two. And also, there's one other thing that we can do in this part of the, um, the level. A couple of other things with the Kong that we've neglected the most so far in this level is uh, like. Okay. So first thing. water. No, there's actually um, lanky bananas here in the water as well as a lanky balloon in the uh, waterfall itself. So 
yeah, these are one these are ones that are really easy to miss, especially since they're the same color as the water, unless you're using Lanky. You, you know, if you're using any other Kong, they appear semi-transparent in the same almost the same exact texture as the water itself. So it's real they're really, really hard to see. But there's also one other thing up here closer to candies. I think it's around here. There is actually a um banana port that we're going to want to use with Lanky, if I can just remember where it is. I know it's around here somewhere. I just can't remember exactly where. Okay, that guy's gonna be annoying, isn't he? Jump up here. I wanna get I just wanna pop that balloon, jeez. Leave me alone. I can't quite reach it again. Okay, I'm gonna go down here and do it. Something over there. Oh yeah, headphones, I remember. Um, yeah, let's go over here real quick. I think I know it's around here somewhere. I just can't remember exactly where it is. I think it's up here. So there's two there's a couple things we need to do around here. Obviously, with almost all the other cons except Lanky, like he's is on the other side of the cavern from here. But um there is something we can do with Lanky over here. Something that's rather important. So here's the Diddy one, and here has been Banana Port 5. You might recall us finding Banana Port 5 before with with Diddy. Banana Port 5 takes us up here to the top of the spire, or plateau, if you prefer, and allows us to collect 20 bananas and our blueprint. Sweetness. And while we're here, we might as well do Lanky's uh, cabin as well. Just because we want to get more done with Lanky, since he's been sadly neglected to this point in the LP, or at least in this level. Really, um, Lanky, as as weird as Lanky is and everything in this game, he's not. Honestly, my personal like of Lanky is completely overshadowed by the fact that I hate the stuff that they make him do in this game. It's like all of the almost all of the hardest puzzles and mini games are Lanky's, which means that. Really, it doesn't matter whether I like him personally or not. I hate playing against him because that means I've got to do some of the hardest stuff in the game. I love the sounds of dying gremlins in the morning. Actually, it's not morning, it's the afternoon. What am I saying? Anyway, let's go on and head in here. So this one is a little tricky. It's got... Um, music that you might find familiar if you watch a lot of Team Fortress 2 Machinima. Um, or what are they call They don't call them Machinima, they call them Gary's Mods or whatever. But yeah, um, okay. So this is a, our first trial of the Lanky's Organstan Sprint. And the weirdness that they make you do with it. Basically, it's the same as any other move, except you go a lot faster. It's the same as his organic stand, except you move the fastest out of any Kong can actually move on their own feet, is with this move. Which means that we've got races to look forward to. This is That's how you beat the rabbit in Fungi Forest, something I'm going to have to remember to go back and do, um, probably in the next episode. So yeah, we did that with Lanky, and now um, let's go back and do some of the other Kongs on the other side of the cavern here. Ch Donkey has actually got two cabins he needs to do, so we'll go ahead and do this one right over here first, and then we're going to go do the second one over by the other one. The other cavern. Cabin. 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 Man. It's like the, my cold is affecting my ability to properly form words. Oh yeah, this one. And I like this music too, it reminds me of Banjo-Tooie. Um, okay, this one is a matching game. Which, it's another easy game to screw yourself out of because you gotta look at the walls and see where each match is. Each side here has a mat has two, two matches, see? 
match, 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 match. So you want to start with one of the ones that is on, say, this side here, and then switch to um, this, and that causes the, the room to rotate. Go ahead and do this one, make one match, do this, make a second match, start a third, go back to the middle floor, Finish your third match, start a fourth, switch the room again, finish your fourth, do a fifth, switch the room again, and finish the last one. You have to, it's it's not hard, but as long as long as you do it in that pattern, you can do you can finish it easily. Donkey's actually got three out of all of his golden bananas. Three out of four. Which means he only has one more to go. And he also has this uh, battle arena right here that we're going to do. Very small battle arena pad. This thing I noticed about this level, I don't know if it's a bug or what, but the battle arena pads seem to uh, not quite work. Um, or the, Not the battle arena pads, the, the pads in general. Okay, yikes. Uh, yeah, you want to try... I figured this strategy out in that last one. You want to try and do your best to keep, try and do your best to keep the, the splats from getting off a shockwave attack. If they get off a shockwave attack, um, you're probably going to end up getting knocked off the platform unless you're really close to one side of it. That was an interesting bug. You're supposed to turn transparent, not black. So you want to try to keep them on their back feet on the ground or dead as often as possible, and if, and, and if they raise their arms up in the air, hit them. Ah, see? He got me. Maybe I'm just being too aggressive, but that's the way that I see to do it. These battle arenas really aren't that hard, it's just that I'm really bad at them. And I think I got a bit of a bug there, because I think he actually hit me, and it didn't register the hit. I saw Donkey go back on his um, backside and kind of wave his hands up in the air. He does, that's, what he, that's his animation when he gets hit by one of these guys. He, does, he uses that animation a couple of times in IRC, but... Um, that's the most common usage of it. I'm just going to keep trying this, um, and I will meet you guys after I've beaten it. I'm not even going to show me beating it, because obviously it's the same thing we've seen before. Alright, I'm back. I finished that battle arena. It took me a lot longer than it honestly should have. But, you know, ends means. So let's go on over here into Donkey's other cabin area. And play as bongos once again. You might recall, I know where Donkey's blueprint is. It's up by the boulder area of, um, near the ice castle, where we put the boulder down, the first boulder down with Chunky. I'm gonna go and grab it later. Okay, this this part this part is tricky because you've got a room full of trapdoors, full of zingers who drop bombs, and um, you have to kill them all. Thankfully, though, they give you box after box of homing ammo. Basically, just point where your reticule turns green, and just spam the B button. Yay. Now, is there... Yeah, there's five bananas over there that I want to grab. Normally, I just run through this area, but as of right now, I am not that uh, confident in my own abilities to walk in a straight line. Because I, I went back and rewatched a lot of my failures in... Uh, Fungi Forest, and I realized just how bad I am at walking in a straight line. And that's something you kind of have to do in video games a lot of the time, is walk in a straight line. So, yeah. That's that's why this that's why I've struggled so much at this game, is because I'm just having an inability to be able to drop or to uh, walk in a straight line when I should. So I'm going to go and head and get Donkey's Blueprint because that means I will have just five bananas left with him to go. And that will be it for him. So, if I can remember where exactly 
his blueprint is. Well, yeah, it's up here. So this is what I mean about this level, is that if you don't use the banana boards, you're going to end up spending a lot of time in the water, because it's actually faster to go into the, the middle of the water, as long as you know where you can get in and out of it, um, than it is to just walk around on the platforms above. I hate these platforms. For some reason, the hitboxes on these platforms are always really off, so that only a couple of Kongs can really jump on them reliably. So, and Donkey's not one of them. You really need to be either Diddy or Langy to be able to get across these platforms effectively. There's Donkey's blueprint right there. We're still missing five bananas with them, but um, I figure I can track those down later. You just get this and then we'll call it an episode actually after this, because I'm nearing a half hour on my recording software. I know I've got some stuff to edit, but um, I'm going to be calling it an episode. And I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Donkey Kong 64 for more of Crystal Caves. See you guys then. Good night.